It was the greatest dynasty in college sports history. Seven consecutive national championships, 10 titles overall in just 12 years, four unbeaten seasons and an 88 game winning streak. No school can match the success of the UCLA basketball teams of the 1960s and 70s. The reason behind the Bruins' unprecedented success, the sport's greatest coach ever, John Wooden. There was one of those special moments in time that, uh, as you say, probably will never happen again, never be duplicated. And uh, for me, that's, uh, you know, my, my, my highlight of my life is the fact that I played for John Wooden's last championship team. I mean, there are guys that have played for him on different championship teams, but I was there at the end uh, when he made the announcement against Louisville that we had, it, uh, had the spirit and the inspiration to go out and win that last one for him. So that's uh, the biggest thrill of my athletic career. Wooden was a master strategist and motivator who genuinely cared about his players. The coach always deflected credit to his team. Uh, we had wonderful youngsters. Uh, I was at a great university, and uh, so many things uh, fell in place. I think uh, the most remarkable of that entire uh, uh, string, however, was the first two, where we went 30 and 0, and then 28 and 2 the next year, and um, of course the. Uh, entrance of uh, a young man by the name of Lewis Alcindor coming to UCLA helped us and but it's the players always if you don't have the players you're not going to have a string like that great players came to UCLA to play for the man who became a father figure to them a teacher they respected and a coach who taught them about life I think every coach should be a teacher you're just teaching a little different subject matter I taught English in high school for a number of years and you do certain things there in the classroom, on the basketball court or on the diamond or wherever else, I'm teaching something else, but still teaching that the, the, the fundamentals they must learn. To prepare his players for games and for their days beyond the court, Wooden developed his four laws of teaching. Well, it has an explanation, then you have a demonstration, then you have an imitation of the demonstration, and then you have a repetition of the correct model until the habit is formed. His team's habits were winning and demonstrating consistent character. Players believed in Wooden, and it showed. I think character will enable you to come through in difficult situations uh, more than just uh, raw talent. But that doesn't mean that no talent can do it. You have to have talent, too. But if there's the, uh, equally talented, it's the one with the character background that are going to produce in trying situations. And uh, yes, that was important to me. I, I really wanted players to be at UCLA first and foremost of all to get an education. I wanted them to understand that. Wooden's hallmarks were his love for his players and his ability to care for each member of his team as individuals. Like I told my players at the beginning of every year, now, I won't like you all the same. You won't like me all the same. You won't like each other all the same. I'm not gonna treat you all the same. You may expect me to, but I'm not. I'm gonna to try to give each one of you the treatment you earn and deserve, and I know that won't be alike. There'll be some things that are gonna be alike too, but, but I, it won't be every case. And remember, I'm imperfect and I'll be wrong at times, but if I'm wrong too much, you know, <laughs> I won't be around, there'll be somebody else in my place. And I won't like you all the same, but I hope I love you all the same. Above all, he was a master teacher who inspired his players to become the best they could be. Learn from others. You'll never know a thing that you didn't learn from somebody else. And never cease trying to be the best you can be. Never try to be better than somebody else. That's out of your control. But never cease trying to be the, the best you can be. Today, Wooden's 10 championship trophies are symbolic, not only of a great era in sports history, they also signify a time when young men followed the lead of an exemplary teacher who, through mutual respect, taught them how to live.